I would like to invite the dignitaries onto the dais. Shri Mila Jadev Garu, President of FTCCI. Shri Karnendra Jasti, Chair, Excellence Awards Committee. Shri Suresh Kumar Singhal, Senior Vice President, FTCCI. Mr. Ramakan Tinani, Co-Chair, Excellence Awards Committee. Research. I now invite President of TCC, Sri Mila Jadev Garu, to deliver the welcome address and invite and request to the media and guests. A very happy good morning to all. Good morning, colleagues and media friends. And I'm the chair, Karnanda Vijayasrigaru, Ramakant Inani, and Senior Vice President Suresh Kumar Singhal, and Sangeeta Madam and uh, Veena Garu. Welcome for the press meet. And thank you for the being the, here today. It is pleasure to welcome you all this press meet. FTCCI for more than a century, 107 years is completing, has always been on the path of providing support to its members and industry at large through various institutions and programs. Awards and recognitions are always in the service as a motivation to excel in their field, be arts and culture, education, sports, and so also industry. The performance of the industry determines the growth rate of the economy and achieving the excellence in production, CSR innovation, CSR and innovation experts and contributes not only the, to the economy, but society as whole. Keeping this view, FTCC recognizations and honors the industry and entrepreneurs to excel with various fields. On this note, I am delighted to announce the prestigious flagship program of our organization the FTCC Excellence Awards 23, scheduled to be on 5th July 24. We are extremely pleased to, pleased to announce the Sri, Sri Revant Redigaru, Chief Minister, giving away awards to the winners. The endeavor is the testament to our M commitment, commitment to empowering our industries and entrepreneurs and induce spirit of entrepreneurship Telangana by honoring them with these awards. We have taken all the steps and ensures that process of all awards not only meets but exceeds expectations. The details of the which will be given by the Chairman Excellence Awards Committee, Karnendra Jasigaru. I would like to take a moment and acknowledge it to thank you, dedicated partners who have consistently contributed and the vision missions on this organization. I once again thank you for joining us today. We look forward to embroking 
on this journey together to making a lasting impact i thank you very much again to for joining us thank you thank you sir for your warm welcome and your inputs on ftcc activities i now request shri kalendra jasti chair of excellence awards committee to brief over the awards a very good morning to all my colleagues here and uh, and the media friends from the media <clears throat> uh, let me begin the speech with uh, on a positive outlook on india and of course telangana as a whole the confluence of the factors that has put india on a strong footing uh, on foundation for a long term growth and this combinations of the policy and the political will and that i believe would result in continued reforms and and a period of macroeconomic stability the stage has been set for exports to drive growth and the new class of consumers to emerge india is at path of becoming a third largest economy uh, by 2027 these are the data by the imf and i believe that the reforms are entrenched and india continues to be a long term structural growth story rising income structural reforms digital transformation manufacturing upgrades are some of the economic trends that will enable india on a growth trajectory telangana the youngest state has been on the growth of the growth and development in both manufacturing and service sectors the booming it industry uh, uh, so it sector strength is a success story and has attracted investments in its in the decade defense aerospace sector also has been seeing an exponential growth with major companies establishing their presence and making investments huge investments in this uh area our strategic location skilled workforce and efficient government remains pivotal in making hyderabad the economic hub with the industrial development strategy we we'll see a lot of development in tier 2 and tier 3 cities also and envisaging telangana is a leading powerhouse in india telangana is poised for a significant growth the government is committed to creating a conducive environment for investment innovation and we at the federation are excited to contribute and support this endeavor ftcci uh, uh, is a celebration in in so is going to celebrate this excellence of emerging enthusiastic business and entrepreneurs that run them that's the right time to give their business the edge over the competition and recognize them for the best that are done for the state and the country so as uh, a president had said i mean that this uh, the, this year we will have the chief minister mr revent reddy to do the honors which has been always a tradition of the federation uh, unfortunately it couldn't happen earlier because of various reasons and due to the occupation of the earlier chief ministers so we are very proud that this time uh, we'll see the chief minister at the helm of uh, the award ceremony and this edition of the 2023 i mean and uh, 24 uh, excellent awards has been an important flagship event and every year we do celebrate this uh, uh, entrepreneurial journey of various industries these awards are a testament to the roadmap by the federation of the years and our commitment to honor and recognize hard working and efficient business houses that excel in their chosen field the awards are a symbol of validation of the hard work the bold decisions and the relentless pursuit of excellence that drive progress and innovation excellence awards 23 24 will include 23 categories this time that honor industries and sector in various elements of business like achievement in all road performance marketing product innovation csr research and development etc ensuring that all facets of our industry are represented and acknowledged the complete details are there on the brochure which has been circulated and of course our uh, co-chair mr ramakant dinani will just run you through the 23 awards that are being uh, 21 this time sorry 21 categories that will be uh, given away this time we and about the jury we got an exceptional jury uh, we always had like this and this time it's no different it is a, it comprises of uh, uh, shri just uh, justice shri challak modan ram garu dr m gopal krishna ias shri ajay mishra ias dr surendra kumar from the drdo 
Dr. Uday B. Desai, founding director of IIT, and Srimati Vanita Datla, MD of Elco Industries. The process of the scrutiny by the directors will be based on various criteria regarding the sector and will be done in a qualified metric system. This year, two new categories uh, are uh, added as per the changing ecosystem of the industries. The two categories are digital transformation, that is to honor the enterprise that has started to uh, adapt to emerging digital technologies and tools. And the second one is the ESG performance to go along with the substantial, uh, sustainability development goals. Now the total number of which make us to 21 categories in total, every year a large number of industries compete for this committed award, awards in various categories. And this year too, we are confident that there'll be a good competition for this coveted award. The last date, I mean, uh, they are already online and uh, we have been receiving applications. The last date for submission is the 20th of June, 2024, uh, this year. And, uh, and the date uh, is, is uh, likely or mo uh, mostly it's almost set at 100% as 5th July, uh, 2024. So we are running on, yeah, the Honorable CM will uh, be at the chief guest on that day to give away these prizes to all the uh, award winners. So I would request now Mr. Ramakantinani, the co-chair of this awards committee, to briefly read through the uh, 21 ca categories that are there uh, for the benefit of all of you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Kondendra Garu. Uh, my colleagues on the dais and the uh, representatives from press and media. It is my pleasure to announce the, the details of the awards. Uh, there are seven, uh, 21 awards, out of which 17 are for uh, large industries and SMEs, and four awards for uh, recognition of individuals. Briefly, I will run through. Uh, one first is the excellence in industrial all round performance. This is for large industries. This was instituted by Spectra Shares and Scripps Private Limited. Second one is excellence in industrial all-round performance for sm small and medium enterprises announced by BBC Industries Limited. Third is excellence in agro-based industry in instituted by India Siemens Limited. Fourth is excellence in export performance for this is for large industries instituted by Surana Group of Industries. Fifth is excellence in export performance. This is for small and medium enterprises um, instituted by Raja Sahib of it Itkyal Award, instituted by CH Venkateshwar Augaru. Sixth is excellence in CSR, instituted by Sinivas Ayadevara, our past president. Seventh, excellence in aerospace and defense industry, instituted by Gora Sinivas of Gora Ventures Private Limited. Eighth is excellence in pharma, instituted by Suven Trust, belonging to from the Suven Pharma Group. Ninth is excellence in ESG performance, large industries. Uh, this is for the environmental, social, and governance. That is ESG, instituted by Sigachi Industries Limited. Tenth is excellence in tourism promotion and hospitality, instituted by Sri Surat Prasad Agarwal. In innovation category, 11th is excellence in marketing innovation. This is uh, instituted by Central India Group of Industries. 12th is excellence in product innovation. For, this is for large industries instituted by MRF Limited Sadashu Pet. 13th is excellence in product innovation. This is for small and medium enterprises instituted by late Sri Lakshmi Prasad Agarwal of DSL Infra Limited. 14, Excellence in Healthcare Innovation, instituted by Sanofi India Private Limited, <coughs> formerly it is Shanta Biotex Private Limited. 15, the Excellence in Research and Development, this is for large industries, instituted by Elico Limited. 16, is Excellence in Startups, instituted by State Bank of India, recently last two years back. 17, Excellence in Digital Transformation, instituted by Bharat Cloud. 
now i read out the four awards reserved for the individual category one is 18 excellence in science and engineering this is for individual instituted by c achutra award instituted by c rama sita rama swami karu 19th excellence in women entrepreneurship this is for also for individual instituted by cm sri cv sitaram swami karu 20th is excellence in self sustaining effort by a differently able person instituted by margdarshi chit funds private limited last one is excellence in social entrepreneurship for individuals instituted by our vice president late sri om prakash tibrewala thank you thank you mr ramakanti nani yeah uh now i i, I have our uh, managing committee member and of course a very um, senior person with us online mr srinivas garmella who has been in the awards committee and has uh, really led to this uh, um, process of evaluation data and how it uh, what are the questionnaires and how it has to be done the modalities they all been worked out uh, with his support and an external agency so i would request mr srinivas garmella to just throw some light on how we are going to uh, move forward with these applications mr garmella yeah thank you thank you karnendra garu uh, very good morning to the press and uh, ladies and gentlemen and office bearers of tcci and uh, secretary staff i'll just give you a, bri a brief on what exactly we have done this year uh, differently in terms of uh, award criteria and also in terms of selection and in terms of jury award we have adopted the uh, digital transformation the, the in thing now we have digitalized the complete selection process the criteria process and also the points awarded to each of the nominee by uh, ensuring that all the applications are first nominated through online and once online applications are made each uh, of a uh, company that is getting nominated gets a unique id a particular company can nominate itself for multiple awards and they get multiple ids this once the nominations are closed we will compile all the nominations into a proper dashboard and once the dashboard is complete we will give points based on each award category for example if you are talking about all round performance we would give a uh, certain points for growth certain points for profitability certain points for continuous improvement and certain points for sustainability which is now the hallmark of companies that have to move forward so based on four criteria for all round performance similarly we have different criteria for different award categories we have 21 award categories the selection criteria would be different and the points graded against each selection criteria is again different now this is all digitalized and once all the compilation is done then we have the jury that is stepping in to award the uh, marks the ju each jury member has again a unique id so that one jury does not know what the other jury awards in terms of points and they will go through each of this complete dashboard of this nominees and award points based on the uh, criteria that has already been evolved once the jury selects and gives the points these jury points are averaged out in case there is a, a three member jury for a particular award category we average out the jury awards and select the winner of that the entire process is transparent digitalized and on the web so this year the first time we attempting this kind of a thing and we have already test run all these things the software on the cloud as well as on the you know on the excel sheets and the tested and found okay so we would be adopting the system from the 20th once all the nominations are closed on that bit i think we should come out with much more uh, judicious selection of awards because this is one of the most prestigious events of ftcci i'm sure we will come out triumphant thank you gentlemen that's all i have to say in your travel yeah now to the next yeah. thank you sir thank you shrinivas garmana sir for briefing about the transparency and the process of 
uh, scrutiny of the award categories and the award nominees. I thank Shri Ramakantinani Garu for briefing about the various categories that we have this year. Thank you, Karnendra Jasti Garu, for briefing about the Telangana outlook and about the awards. Yeah. I will now request. Oh, oh. Thank you, sir. I now request our media friends uh, for Q&A. If you have any questions regarding the awards. Uh, around 200, sir. Oh, no. About 30 as of today. And what is the nominee fee? There are different categories, uh, there are different prices, uh, depending on the uh, year. Is there in the project? Is there one that I'll, I'll read that she asked. So we have uh, for uh, members and non members uh, differential pricing. For members in the SME category, uh, we have the 4,000 4, rupees for all the members, and it's 5,500 for all the non members. And all categories other than the above, uh, above mentioned SME categories or the agri-based startup women and social, we have 6,000 and uh, 8,500 respectively for members and non-members. And uh, of course, we have uh, uh, we have waived uh, for two categories. Uh, that is for the differently uh, enabled and the... Uh, Yes. No, sir. Uh, e oh. Excellence in science and engineering is one that is a indiv individual award, and in excellence in self sustaining effort by a differently able person are the two exempted categories from any fees. So we have a process on how uh, this research is done because this time we do not have any physical forms or applications uh, and it has been all digital and we have to once you get onto the website of the federation you have to click on the awards link and uh, uh, then it, it, it logins to the FPCCA uh, awards and you have to enter your registration details whatever data they're asking by it on four or five parameters and uh, then you have to select the category and whether you're a member or non-member, and then subsequently it leads you to all the questions relating to that particular category only, because we have seen that this time the questions are different for all the categories and it's not the same for uh, unlike earlier. So we have formulated a plan wherein we have specific questions related to that particular category. And so it leads to a different application on whenever you click on a particular award uh, application. So once you do that, it leads to a page where you have a um, payment uh, gateway and you could select the payment gateways in different means, like it could be a bank transfer, it could be a credit card or uh, any other means of uh, electronic transfer. And 
this completed online application will be available with the federation uh, for further evaluation and preparation of the dashboard as per the thing and which will be submitted to the jury uh, for going ahead with the final decision whatever is explained by mr shrinivas already so that is the process in which we are trying to do it and it will be more simplified and the questions also have been very rationalized and uh, with not too much of uh, data which sometimes is not mundane and not useful so this is the status of the thing now yes ma'am and uh, any other uh, have you got your answer for that Anybody else? Any question? It's like yeah. June 20th. Fortunately, uh, I agree with you. I mean, but the confidence has come up from the fact that this has become a legacy. I mean, people are really happy to be part of the awards. And, you know, the, uh, in spite of the short time, we are sure that uh, we will reach to those levels because there's been a good response from the day we have announced for this. And over the years, in the last uh, four or five years, it has gained a lot of prominence. And I see a good response happening without any you know, uh, push from our side this time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and incidentally, this is the 50th year of uh, establishing FTCCI yeah. Excellence Awards. Right. 1974. Okay. It completed five decades, whatever. And of course, in recent years, it has gained momentum. So. Yes. Any more questions? Thank you very much. I now request Sri Suresh Kumar Singhal, Senior Vice President, to deliver a vote of thanks. Good afternoon to all. It is my privilege and honor to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of Federation of Telangana Chamber of Commerce and Industry to all the media personnel who has gathered here from print media and electronic media for our FTCCI Excellence Awards coverage. Friends, this is the prestigious award given by FTCCI to the people who have achieved something in their field, in industries, what type of industries they are running, and what height they have reached, what far they have reached, there are certain criteria we have instituted that they should be fit enough into that criteria and get the awards. These awards are really prestigious and it will improve their image of the industries and whatever in their, they are having in the field they are working. We have in innovation and technology awards, seven awards we are giving in innovation, technology, 10 awards to industries and four awards to individuals. <clears throat> Friends, it is, we look forward from your side that we will cover in your print media and electronic media, you will give good mileage and coverage to this excellence award from FTCCI to be given on 5th of July 2024, where our Honorable Chief Minister of Telangana, Sri A. Ravantri DE, he will be the chief guest and from his, uh, he will hand over the awards uh, to the winners. So, I request all of you to kindly give good coverage for this award so that people should come forward to showcase that they are in the race 
and they are in the competition to get this award so i again thank you very much for all our karan jasti garu chair of this award committee co chair ramakant ji inani our president mila jaydev ji and sangeeta ji who is taking care of this award ceremony so thank you all thank you for award ceremony team total amitabh is also there so thank you all once again i request you all to give good coverage and mileage for this award ceremony thank you very much ah uh, please join us for lunch i think yes lunch lunch ha thank you sir for a valuable contribution model Oh no, there's no cash prize. I mean, we never have done on a cash the industry. We have the sheet. We have the sheet.